first let's talk about number one which is my favorite it's called flash fill okay flash fill is available for your excel 2013 or later version okay now flash fill automatically fills in value based on pattern it recognizes in your data for example in our worksheet we have employee id we have first name we have last name and we have a space here for flash fill in excel okay now first thing first we need to click on the cell which is our flash fill in excel this is the cell click on it first and the next thing now is to create the format which you want the flash fill to create the pattern for okay now the format i want is this um i'm going to work on two formats but let's start with the first one the first format is abdul salami now what this means is i want the flash fill to list out the other names following the templates i lay on ground so which means i'm expecting prince emmanuel to take over Fates Abdul Kalvi to take over, Ungozi Owela to take over, John Harry to take over. So I've already laid the format which I want. This is the pattern. So what I need to do now is to click on my Abdul, which is my cell F5. Now move to data from my menu bar, which is the ribbon. Then click on what we call flash field. Perfect. That is it. You can tell that laying the foundation, that is the pattern, flash field, follow and list out all the names out. Okay. We can do it in another way now click on it then drag it down okay did you see we have duplicates of abdul salami now the next thing is to click on this button okay and click on flash fill that's it so these are the two ways okay now let's do something different now let's assume i need um, like an abbreviation and for example i have a and x okay this is what i want a and x which means abdul salami and the next should be prince emmanuel the next should be faith abdul Kadri. the same process select it like i said move to your data from your menu bar click on it then select flash fill perfect everything comes out now one thing you need to know is this okay it's important to know that the result you get is not dynamic now what does this mean it means when changes are made from the original version for example i have abdul salami okay now let's assume i make a change here i give it um kadri okay a d i r i okay now let me enter it so the change made here will not reflect here so you have to be very careful when you're using flash fill okay so it's not dynamic so that change will not reflect here so that's one of the shortcomings of this flash fill and i know many of you will say but we can use concatenate to do this yes we can but i think this is more faster but for my next tutorial i'll do more on concatenating two cells together please subscribe and follow me for the next on concatenation of names and strings okay so right now let's execute these ones you click on your flash fill now this is the result okay so like i said again flash fill will analyze the pattern and fill down the rest of the column accordingly splitting the names for all raw data sets okay let's talk about quick analysis tools i love this okay what it does is that it provides instant option for analyzing your data such as formatting chart total table and sparkling okay now these tools help you quickly apply data analysis techniques without manually navigating through menus making your workflow more efficient yes that's right so what you need to do is to select the range of data you want to analyze click on quick analysis button that appears in your bottom right corner of your selection or you press ctrl q okay choose like formatting that's where you get your data bar your chart you get your column chart your total you get your sum your table or sparkling okay for example let me press ctrl q and immediately it alights the cell of my details, my information, and it launched me a quick dialog box. In this dialog box, I have formatting. What can I do with all this? Click on data bar, you can see, it changed the color of my retailers. Click on color, it changed the expenses. Click on icon, as you can see. Now move to your greater than. So this gives you some quick modification or some quick instance you want to apply on your values or your details, okay? Now let's move to chart. Now this is chart. You have what we call your cluster bar. You can see this gives you the sum and expenses by beverage brand. Now we have what we call your cluster chart. You can see this gives you the sum and revenue of your beverage. We have what we call total. Okay. When I click on this total, it gives me the total revenue and it gives me the total unit sold. Okay. Now we have our table, which gives me the cluster. So you have so much you can do with these hacking tools. Okay. Let's talk about cluster. Okay. Now click on it. What did you see? 
Now, automatically, it takes me to my pivot table analysis and it gives me a breakdown of my beverage brand and sum of expenses. Wonderful. I love this. Okay. So this is one of the powerful tools I like using. Let's talk about Power Query. Okay. Now, Power Query automates the process of importing, cleaning, and transforming data. Okay. So one thing about Power Query is that it performs transformation like removing, duplicate, changing data type, merging data, and filtering rows. Okay. Let's give an example now. Um, for example, I need to remove the duplicate from here. All I need to do is to select it. After selecting it, I move to here and I click on what remove duplicates. Okay. So now what do I need to do? Remove duplicate. Awesome. So this is one of the tools of Power Query that is settled. Now let's move to the next one. Let's assume I want to um, make my region in uppercase or lowercase. All I have to do is to right click on it. When that is done, I can move to transform, then click on uppercase. Did you see that? So that's it. Okay, let's change it to lowercase. Go back there, then click on transform and change to lowercase. Okay, now let's assume that I want to sort my region by north, west, or north, east. All I have to do is to come over here. Okay, now this is it. Sort by ascender, sort by descender. But right now, I want to filter it, okay? I want to filter by west or south or northeast. So I have to deselect this. Now select south, then click on OK. So this will show me the information of south alone. Did you see that? So this will show me details of south alone. Okay, let's go back. Let me click on south and west, then OK. So this will show me information of south and west. Awesome. Okay, now let me go back and leave all. So I click on what select all, then click on OK. You just see that there's so much you can do with Power Query. Okay, with Power Query, you can merge, you can remove, you can add, you can do so much. Now let's go back here. Okay, now let's work on the beverage brand. Okay, now I want to separate Coca from Cola. Okay, which means I want to remove the delimiter so I can have Coca separate from Cola. So now all I have to do is to go to my transform, and then the next step is to click on split column. Then I click by delimiter. Okay, now what does that word mean? It means what is in between the two words, okay? So that is the key that will be used to separate them. So now I have um, select your, okay? So here is going to be by what? So I'm going to use by custom because I'm going to insert what I want. So what do I want from here? Um, none, okay? So here I have to click on it. This is what I want. I want it to be separated by delimiter. So this iPhone. Now let's click on okay. Now, do you see that? So I have beverage brand one, Coca, then beverage brand two, Cola. There's so much magic you can perform when it comes to Power Query. So this is nice. So you can do a lot with your Power Query. You can separate, you can remove. In fact, you can add. Okay? So these are the awesome things you can do with your Power Query. Okay? Now let's talk about merging the two columns back. Now to do that, I need to do what? I need to select my two column. I need to select this and also select this. Now the next thing is to click on Merge Column. Merge Column. Okay, so Merge by what? Okay, here, Space, Merge by Space. Okay, then what else? The new column name is optional. I can just give it, um, let me just give it the full name. Beverage Brand. Then, okay. Awesome, do you see that? That is it. So you can do so much with your Power Query. So much you can do with your Power Query. So that's how Power Query works. These are some of the things you can do with your Power Query. But believe me, there's so much you can do. In my next video, I'm going to point out some things, some cool, awesome things you can do with your calculation, with your revenue, how you can make some little math magic on Power Query. Please subscribe for more videos. Okay, now let's talk about pattern fill. Okay, now what we use pattern fill for, you know, is to, you know, automatic is to automate your numbers. Okay, we use it to automate your numbers. Like for example, I have one here, so I can drag it down. Okay, I can drag it down, so it shows me one, 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 one. Okay, for example, let me use my right click to drag it down, 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 and leave it. Okay, now the question is, what do I want to fill? Okay, um, I want to fill it with series. Now you see that? So it shows my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is faster than just typing it. Now let's go to this. We have our month, date, and year. Now if I'm to show all the year in accordance, so all I have to do is just to right click, then drag, okay? Now it gives me an option so that what exactly do I want to show? So I want the cell to display years, okay? Now I have 2022, so I need 
2023, 2024, I need years, okay? So now all I have to do is to click on fill years. Now, did you see that? So I have 2022, so this is the fastest way when you have a column and you need to put years of numbers of years. So you don't have to type it one after the other. So this is one of the hacking tools you can use, okay? Now let's talk about group data, okay? Now group data, we use group data to work on large spreadsheets and um, you need to collapse columns so you can have space to work with um, some other columns. In summary, we use group data to collapse or hide some columns so we can have access to some others column, okay? So group data is one of the hacking magic tools in Excel that if you use it right, you can get a kind of cool result. Okay, so now what we need to do right now, we have this database spreadsheet here. And then as you can see, these are already taking up the whole space. Okay, we don't have any other space to work. Like it's so much. So what we need to do right now is to collapse some of this information. So now that is where group data comes in. So the first thing to do is to highlight the columns you want to collapse. So I'm going to highlight from my I column to M and then click on my data from my ribbon table then click on group okay so what this does right now as you can see it collapses the column so now the column is no longer here but if you want to check it out you have to click on this button and it expands it again so group data is a very cool tool you can use as much as you want and then okay you can collapse as much as you want to collapse okay for example let me collapse from column zero to r and then okay let's group it you see that so i can just collapse this okay and collapse this now i have enough space to work or to type some other information so we have this sign here you can click on it it enable the information and you can click on the other one too it enable the other information too so lastly let me collapse towards the end let me collapse like my t to my okay yeah this is okay now let me collapse it perfect so now as you can see that's it. So all these files, information, I've already collapsed them, but I have a button on top that can enable and show all the information from each of the columns. So, and there's another button here. We have, um, when you click on it, what it does is that it shows you all the information you collapse. Okay? So when you click on it, it shows everything at once. But you can collapse it one after the other, one after the other, then one after the other. So collapse is one of those hacking tools you can use when you have a kind of a spreadsheet that contains so much information and then you need to create space so it can work so when you're done you can enable it so that's how collapse works please kindly subscribe like and share for more videos thank you